What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol LCID for Lucid Group. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We talked about it just the other day, and the most important thing to point out here is the fact that we're sitting right on that all-important area of support. If it breaks, we know there's quite a ways to fall until about 28. Now, you know, sure, there's the possibility that it catches itself for a higher low somewhere in that range. However, from a structural standpoint, you can see that there's really nothing in this area until we come to that breakout point at 28. So please be aware of that. Also, the daily 200 SMA is floating down there. It's the green line on our charts. The, the structure of the bar today would also indicate quite a bit of bearishness. I mean, we closed dead on the lows here with a lack of lower wick. So it's not like the buyers tried to respond to these lower prices. And sure, Jerome Powell's speech did have something to do with that. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you, you know, credit where credit is due always. Those are some 30 minute hammer candles. But from the daily bar perspective, it's not really a significant lower wick. Let's quickly take out the Fibonacci's and come in from the high of day. Where are we? Here we go. 930 bar is here. High of day down to the low of day just to get a sense for where the 38.2 is. And again, this is a thing of beauty. I can't make this stuff up. Uh, the, the price action is the price action. The readings are the readings. The math is the math. The 38.2 is the low of the first drive lower where we bounced from. And when we break it, you know, now essentially anything that retests is just a break and retest. Exactly that. We would look for resistance there. So any inverted hammers, any indecision dojis, basically looking for rollovers underneath those lows, equal lows to that 33-ish area. And from the daily, flush, goodbye, probably coming back down closer to that 28 level that we've been harping on. So the 30-minute would suggest bearish. Um, again, anything that essentially happens in this range is nothing more than bear flag consolidation, looking for the rollover. The only thing that changes this chart in my estimation, and we've talked about this on you know other videos as well is a recapture of 3587 now why is that the level because we had this daily range like this if it's going to be a look below and fail it's got to be up and over with price acceptance before the top end of the range becomes the target at 4262 as of right now the candle structure that we've been looking at certainly would not suggest that as a likely possibility that's going to wrap up the video if you enjoyed it today or learned anything new let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up don't forget our main channel is linked in the description and all of that being said i wish you a green trading week.